Hey guys, what is happening? Welcome back to another video here on National Vlogs. Uh, today is obviously we're doing another social distancing um, lineup prediction, but we're doing one on an attraction or an event. Now, I haven't ever really covered on this channel. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to be talking about a 2020 social distancing lineup prediction for Tully's Shocktoberfest. Now, I was due to go to Tully's in 2018, uh, but due to uh, certain issues, we couldn't get up there, unfortunately. But, never fear, we, we do have plans to get up there this year. So, stay tuned. So, um, yeah, so just like with other updates we've done, we're going to base it off what was there last year, but because of Tully's Shocktoberfest being a, a sort of a temporary event, it's not, you know, we're not going to base it off what shut and what isn't. However, unfortunately, we will not be counting the Haunted Hayride in this prediction mainly due to there's no way they could do that experience so as i said we're going to be uh, predicting it off of what was there last year as well as we won't be counting the haunted hay ride so let's kick straight in with the first thing so the new thing for last year was uh the wastelands penitentiary now this was based in two things. This was an area with a small show and a maze. Now, like I say, I didn't get to experience Wastelands Penitentiary last year. However, from what I've heard and what I've been told, the show and the whole general area of Wastelands Penitentiary looked fucking insane. So hopefully we're going to get up there this year. You know, we're going to try my best to get up there this year. So, we're going to talk about the show. I think the show will come back because I think everyone's going to be expecting it to. Uh, it had light, sound, actors and pyro. And it looks pretty cool. But we're now going to talk about the maze. So, I think the show will come back. But let's talk about the maze. The maze. I think, personally, from what I've seen... I think it will come back, however we will see a reduction of actors and I think it may be a slightly less intense experience than last year. Obviously I can't really say a lot because I haven't done these mazes so I'm having to base it off of POVs that I've seen, but from what I've seen the Wasteland Penitentiary I do think that will come back for 2020 but with a slightly tamer version compared to 2019. Next up is Chop Shop. Now, thanks to Chop Shop, we managed to get Creek Freak Massacre at Thorpe, which Thorpe, Thorpe's Creek Freak Massacre is sort of a bit like Chop Shop. So, uh, Chop Shop, do I think he'll come back? Yes, but just like with Creek Freak, we, see, we will see a reduction of actors and the amount of chainsaws in there. And I'm not going to lie, um, Chop Shop does look pretty insane, and I think that's the maze I'm most terrified for, I'm not going to lie. But, yeah, do I think he'll come back? Yep, I think Chop Shop will come back for 2020, but with a smaller amount of actors and not as many chainsaws. Next up is the Village Coven of 13. Now, based off of what I've seen, I'm going to be totally honest. I don't think this is going to come back this year, to be totally honest. I don't think it's going to come back this year, unfortunately. Just due to, obviously, at the start, you go in uh, to this room full of smoke and lasers and this inflatable walkway. So, um, and people are putting your hands on the side to try and find your way through. So, based on that, and the, from what I've seen, I do not think... The Village Coven of 13 will return for 2020. 
Next up is another maze which was new for last year, which was The Reckoning. Now, this replaced a maze called The Colony, and from looking at pictures and POVs, it looks impressive. It does look impressive. Now, from watching POVs, do I think The Reckoning is going to come back? Unfortunately, I think it's another maze that I don't think it's going to come back this year. However, I have seen the maze is still set up, so... I'm going to go with my gut and say that I don't think The Reckoning is going to come back this year. Next one we're going to talk about is Twisted Clowns 3D. Now, I'm going to be totally honest. I think this maze will come back, but without the 3D element. So I think it will maybe get a name change slightly. Maybe Twisted Funhouse or something. I don't know. But from looking at it, it looks pretty insane. I think with Twisted Clowns 3D... I think it will come back this year. But as I say, all 3D elements will be removed. So you won't wear the glasses. And I think there will be a reduction in actors. So yeah. And also I think it may get a new name for this year. Okay, so the next maze I'm going to talk about is the cellar. Now, I'm going to be totally honest. I think the cellar will come back. But it will be a limited amount of actors uh, to take social distancing into consideration. Um, like I say, I haven't done these mazes, so I can't be too honest. But based off of POVs, I think um, the seller will not be coming. Well, actually, no, the seller will come back this year, but with a, a lot of changes. Now, the next maze we're going to talk about is VIXI, which is their hooded maze. I'm going to say this straight off the bat, it's not going to come back this year. Simple. End of that story. So the final maze we're going to talk about is Creepy Cottage. Now this is uh, one of Tully's oldest mazes at the event. And I'm going to be totally honest, I think it will come back. There's not much more I can say to that really. I think that um, Creepy Cottage will return for 2020. So that is the end of the video guys. So I'm going to go through what mazes I think are coming back once again. Wastelands Penitentiary with the live show. Chop Shop. Twisted Clowns 3D without the 3D elements. The Cellar. And Creepy Cottage. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below because I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, if you are new here and you've never seen this face before, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button because at 400 subscribers I am dying my hair blue. So, um, if you want to see that, you know what to do. Anyway.